Hello and welcome to Mills Town. This fantastic and actually huge in terms of what you can do on it. American map by Muddy Digs, 2 uh, 263.09 to download, and it's for all platforms. So when you're spawning, you're spawning in this little area that. Let's have a look and see what it is. It is the Oak Hollows Caves State Park. Let's just have a quick squiz around it. What does it say here? Campus, please self-register. There we go. Stop and pay there. Well, we're not a campus, so we don't have to pay. <laughs> At this stage, we, I presume, live quite close to here. I suppose that's money to get some logs to use over there. There's some nice little touches, aren't they? Those little fun things. Picnic area. Place for the kids to play. And please stay on the mark trails. That's kind of men and women. Ablutions. Small place for the kids to play. And this is what does this say? Oh, Collis Caves. Not sure where the caves are. Must probably find them somewhere along the Rhine. Some offices. Can you go in there? No. Some more place to buy some wood. Right, that's just where you get. Oh, there's a, a tractor. I suppose to take us back to our farm. Let's have a look and see where we where our farm is. Right, so we are there. It looks like our main farm is probably just up here, so that's not very far away. Let's have a look and see what we own. Uh, maybe we can go. Can we go? That's uh, as far as we can go out. Try and get most of the map on. There we go. Uh, right. Is that our home there? Yep, I think so. Right, so this is what we own. So we are just about here, I think. So we own that farm. We own this area here. 62. Not sure what's happening there. Looks like a road area. So the periphery is buyable for 805,000. It's quite expensive. Well, I've seen a lot more expensive. It's doable if you are playing with uh, a bit of extra cash. So let's get out of that. And right, let's go back. So we own this area up here, field 57. That looks like a bit of a farm area there as well. Field 15. Field 37. Field 6. Right, so what we'll do to start with, let's go and have a look and see what machinery we've got on the farm. Um, get started on harvesting something, which is what we would normally do to try and bring in some income. 
then we'll get on one of the tractors and we'll go and visit each of our places which are very nicely situated around around things let's put it that way around interesting little areas we will need to investigate this area down at the bottom here that looks like a sort of a town area and this map is very interesting in that it has two train lines one that runs down there and one that runs straight across the bottom And we'll have a look at that as we go through. This may well also be a two-part series, just looking a two-part look at this map, see how it plays on the first day. I am going to slow down time to times two, I think, just because there seems to be a lot to be done. Right, let's get those type of things done quickly. And so We'll take the game down from five times to two times, just to give us a bit of time to get around. We will leave this crop destruction on, field stones. I'll leave that on for now. Dirt. Right, where are we going now? Switch all these off, as we normally do. Right, so let's go and start by having a look at our yard. As soon as we've got a tractor here, slightly low on fuel, looks looks a bit used. I always like that in the starting starting farm when you start with equipment. It's not all brand new, and our farm is just up the drag here. Could have walked up there. So the first thing here is it looks like there's a place to load up water. Let's get our interactive zone markers on so we can see where things are it doesn't say it's a place to load water so I suppose we can check that at some time Let's drive into the yard and we'll just park up here so our farmhouse, pretty much standard American farmhouse, sleep trigger up front here. I'm going to presume this is our field just behind here. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, that is a canola ready to harvest, standard 38% healed. Nice big open shed with a muck spreader. Well, not a muck spreader for uh, yeah, yeah, um. Oh, it's escaping. It's escaping now. Um, it's not sludge. It's uh. Well, you know, it's the the cow effluent. What's it called now? It'll come to me somewhere along the line. Fertilizer and lime spreader. Cultivator. Right, what have we got here? Bale storage. Oh, nicely detailed. Gates in front, that looks nice. We've got a cedar. Front and back, that's very nice. We have a silo. And we've got, oh, we've got uh, pig food and we've got total mixed ration in here, 28,000 liters. Very nice. Didn't see a cow barn anywhere around here, but in the event. Windmill, I think that's looks just decorative at this point in time don't think it does anything does it no, it doesn't look like it little uh, loading auger 
and this is rental of train so that means we could probably load our train here with this auger that's very interesting we'll check that out nice big header A small amount of damage to it. Hit a trailer. Crop trailer. Forage harvester. Yeah. Reasonable starting equipment. And nice big silo system. A place to wash our vehicles. Always nice when people put that on there. And we have we have some stuff in there. That's very nice. So we've got barley, sorghum, soya beans, corn, sunflowers, and oat. Fantastic. That looks good. And I think I saw some more vehicles in this barn around here. Yep. So we've got the nice big case baler. Mowing equipment, front end loader equipment, front end loader equipment, got the Massey Ferguson with front end loader, that is the S7726 and we've got a nice decent sized harvester. So let's have a little bit more. Have, let's have a look at the equipment in a little bit more detail. Where are we going to now? Um, oh, that's the wrong place again. Here we go. So we've got small tractors. It's the style that we came up in from the spawning area. 135 horsepower. Um, the size of the field's probably a little bit underpowered, but oh, we can see what we can do with it. Medium-sized tractors. That's the Messi that we've just seen here. 280 horsepower. It's quite good, and I think it looks like it's geared up for, um, for working with livestock. I've got a large tractor, the T8. 381 horsepower. Have we seen that one? We haven't seen that one yet, have we? No. It might be in... There was a shed with closed doors, so it might, might have been there. Let's just get back to it. And... The harvester. Yeah, nice. Nice, reasonable mid-sized harvester. 450 horsepowers. Horsepowers, horsepower. Forklift. Yeah, we didn't see the forklift, so that must be in the map somewhere. We'll find out where it is. Trailers, we saw that one. Header. 12 meter header, so reasonable size. Going on to the baler. Very nice baler. 230 horsepower. Can we do that with our medium tractor? Yes, we can. So, forage wagon needs 150 weeks, so we can do it with, yeah. So, it looks like that Massey is perfect for 120 and 60. Yeah, so it's, we'll be able to do the mow of that quite easily. Uh, slurry, slurry, not sludge, slurry. That's what we were thinking about. <laughs> I knew I'd get there sooner or later. Well, I didn't get there. I read it. <laughs> 225 horsepower. So yeah, the the yeah the Messi will just about yeah no it'll make that easy yeah yeah no problem at all. Fertilizer spreader. It does both lime and so that's good. Cedar. Six meter reasonable. Cultivator. Nice. 
No plow, front end loader. Decent one. Tools, decent array of tools. A header, of course. Weights. I uh, didn't see a weight. Might be with the with the um, T8. We'll we'll find out. And there we go. The Meridian belt system or auger system. Fantastic. Right. I think what we'll do is we'll. Which is our fastest tractor? It's probably the T. We need to find the T8. Um, is there a shed that we haven't looked at yet? Oh, yeah, with the garage doors there. That's our work, workstation, and the T8 is in there, also the header that we would, uh, not the header, the weight. Does it need any servicing? 730 will just service it. So there we go, the T8, nice, open the door. Right, so the first thing I think what we, that we will do is we, not what we will do, that we will do is we'll get the harvester out and we'll go and get it started on the on that field um the canola i think to be harvested and then we can go and have a look around the map while that is happening we'll put it onto a worker i did put course play onto this map but I don't think that that field will need course play. Oops. I'm just wrecking the machinery before we even get started. Oof. Can't drive through the doors. What's happening here? Right, so that's just... Just around the corner from us, I think. Uh, is it on? It's on the other side. So we'll just see if we can get away without having to put it onto the header. Uh, do we need to service this? No, it's got a bit of fuel in it. Didn't see a fuel tank here, so we need to find out about that. Um, there's the house there. I don't know whether we're going to get past our Stire that we've just parked in the middle there because we can't get through there is a fence so yep let's just pull that star out the way We'll just park it up here. Right, jump back into our harvester and let's get going. Oops. This is going to be a little tight. Maybe we should have put it onto the. Yeah, looks like we should have put it onto the. <laughs> onto the header. Uh, we'll get through. After giving it a couple of bangs. Right. So it's quite a long field. Let's do a couple of headlands at the top here. And then we'll nip one down to the bottom and do a couple of headlands there. Then we'll put it onto a worker. Let's probably work with a worker just straight off there. There seems to be a bit of a runoff area there. But we'll do a head on each side and then get going. So let's unfold that. Turn it 
and on the harvester and let's get going so pipe out I don't think we can get uh, not pipe out um, straw selection no, not available unless we don't have the straw mod on at this point in time we don't really know we don't really know what we've got I suppose if I was starting this game uh, if I start in this game, this is what, it, it's what I normally do, is I normally try and get something harvesting, if there is harvest to be brought in. Although I haven't noticed it much on FS22, I know in FS19 occasionally there were some maps where you had to work really hard to bring in all the all the crops that um, that were available as on the starting farms. So I do like to get to get that started while I look around the um, the map. Because I do tend to look around the maps quite a quite a bit uh, in just my normal gameplay. What did I want to do? I wanted to change this over to the front so I can lift the, the header. Yep. We'll just nip one down the side and then we'll do another. There's enough runoff space there for the harvester to turn. So once again this map just shows that American maps don't need to be flat I and mean, you can see the we're basically harvesting on the slight hillside here makes it nice and interesting and this also means that for those of us or those of you who do not like flat American maps this one seems to be anything but flat we'll find out now when we start ri riding around or looking around the map and trying to find out other fields and see what what's going on in those areas whether the the roads are in a typical American grid pattern or not we'll see this is a fictitious map of course this is not based on any um, any place real so the map maker Muddy Dix would have had a fair amount of liberty to To make the roads the way he wants to, so we'll find we'll find out about that as we go along. It's a fairly square field, isn't it? Thought we were doing the long side, but it's not it's not a major problem. So what we'll do is when we get to the end of, I think there's enough runoff space here as well, is so we'll set the work on, and we will head on back to the farm and go and look for the rest of our starting pieces of land which seem to be fairly generous seem to have got a lot of land all over the place which in itself makes it nice and interesting also makes it interesting and well makes it less of a decision on working out what to do where to go to when you when you've got places to go and look look at instead of just doing getting on the road and just heading 
somewhere. So let's just tab on back to something in the farm. Uh, let's lift that up. I think we'll just use the T8 and go for a little drive around. Let's call up the PDA first of all and let's have a look and see where we're going to go first and then well, where we're going to start. So uh, that's not what we wanted to do. Uh, yes, it is what we wanted to do. There we go. So that's where we are. So I think if we... It's the house. If we head out here, there's a river to cross there. We'll go there. Have a look at that, which is probably a PGA by the looks of things. Yeah. And we're going to have a look up here. Looks like a quarry. Do we own that? No, we don't own that. So it looks like a quarry. And then we'll have a look at the farmer's market, bales and more. Joe's Trading Depot. And this is our... Well, that's not ours, it's Taylor Shop. Hayloft. So that's part of our land, isn't it? So that looks like it could be the cow area. So let's do that first. We'll go out there. If we head out here, we should go and look at this area here, field six. Or area six, I'm not sure whether it's field number or area number. Let's, uh, yeah, let's get started. Let's pull up the map. So that's where we are. We need to turn around. We'll go out past the house and we'll turn right. This takes us back to where we spawned in. We'll go across the bridge there. Still heading out there. Uh, that looks like an area that we own just at the end of. Th yeah, it looks like a replenishment area of some sorts. So if we go in here, this is area six, I would presume. Look, no, we are there. It's not quite area six, is probably across this road here. Yep, this is ours here. Yeah? This is sorghum to be harvested ready to harvest so as i said there's already two fields that need to be harvested what that did show us is that's a nice little area to buy i would think lime fuel and manure let's just check this and see if this is fuel yeah, yeah, it must be fuel. But we'll just go through and make sure. Any cars coming? Let's reverse across. Well, it doesn't say refuel. I'm not quite sure. We'll have to look that up. We'll get back to that. Uh, right. 
So now we wanted to go. If we want to go back, we want to get on the other road. Was there another road that we crossed to get here? I think we did. Well, it's not a road, it's a track. So the tracks look fairly. That's going to take us into the BGA. So that's really close to the farm. There's large silage clamp areas. We can come at come at that in and that's the road that we would have been on. I'm just gonna have a look and see if they were easy to offload into. Mm, that's probably here. Yeah. How much does it cost to buy the BGA? Buy the 562. Yeah, so pretty much standard. Don't have the money for that now. Collection points. Waybridge. Will that bring us back out to the road? I would imagine so. And just straight across the road, we have. Oh, uh, that bring. That's interesting because that brings us out. Let's just go around and back out where we came came from, or came in, just so that we can pick up where we came from, if you get what I mean. <laughs> right, so there's a way over there to get back onto the road. This is where we came in though, just to give us some perspective from where our farm yard, where it is, where we are going from our farm. <laughs> So that's where we came across. And into the fueling station. I suppose that could be methane or something along those lines. Then we were going to go up this road. Right, we should come past the entrance to the BGA off this road, right over there. That's great. But just up here, going up into the trees there, I think, is the way we go up to the quarry area. Yeah, there's the farmer's market that we saw as we came out a couple of seconds ago. So if we go up here and down here, it should take us into a quarry. Fantastic, so you can do a bit of quarrying as well. Really good. And looks like you can quarry, we can get sand. I, would, I don't, this probably doesn't tell us. But that looks like sand and rock. So that's quite interesting. Let's get back out of here. And if we go down here, we've got... What do we have here? Chris Kringle's wooden toy shop. There we go. How much does that cost? 59,000? I like that. So 
Let's have a look around the back. So we can make some toys. Not quite sure what it needs. Don't have enough money to. Well, I, th I, th I think this is. How much does it cost? Let's say. Let's just buy it so we can see what it needs. Something we don't often see. So, needs red dye. Oh, we can make red dye. A toy shop. Wooden toys. Right, so red dye needs tomatoes. What looks like lime. Yeah. And water. Wooden toys need planks, wood chips, and red dye. Now that is a, something that we haven't seen before. Fantastic. Love it. This is this may be a map where we have to add some money in just to look at some little areas that are that are different. Fantastic. Right, let's get back into the the T8. Just drive around the back and turn around. Nice little at least there's a bit of a turning area there. It's quite tight. Chris King Chris Kringle's workshop. It just looks like it hit. If we go left, just looks like it heads off in to the edge of the map. Hang on, there's a little signpost there. Let's go and see what that says. Private property. Please stay on trail. This trail crosses private property accesses is provided by. Can't quite see who that is. Permission of the landowner. The landowner makes no guarantee as to the safety of the property and accepts. Yep, pretty standard. Enter at your own risk. Right, and so right next to that is a farmer's market. Parking area this side. I want to drive on the entrance pathway. It's the offload point. Looks like a standard farmers a farmers market to me. It's probably Johnson's Farmers Market, something along those lines. So what I do like is that they have some nice signage on the outside of some of the buildings. So this is. Betty Joe's sales Betty Joe's bales and more. So it's probably a bale sell sell point. Is there a buy point anywhere around here? Bits and pieces. Looks good. Probably decorative. Yep, can't get in there. So that's Betty Joe's. And if we go across the road, we come to. Hopefully this will also tell us what this is. And this is... Well, this is still Betty Joe's. Betty Joe's Trading Depot. So, 
Betty Joes. What is Betty Joes? We know it's taking bales from the across across the road. Let's just see if there's what else Betty Jo takes. Uh, can't see Betty Joes there. Can't see her there. Beat no. Seeds no. Oh wait a minute. Seeds. Bales and more. Okay. Well, Betty Joe's trading depot. So she takes wool. She also takes milk. Total make no, but that's bells and more. Bells. Yeah, so she takes quite a bit. Betty Jo seems to be quite an enterprising woman. Or is it Betty and Joe's? Not sure. Right, so if we're going across the way here now, we come to Needles and Stitch. So I'm presuming this is our tailor shop. And you can select, get into your wardrobe here. That's interesting. Well, it's not interesting. It does happen quite a bit. And I think through the back here we could possibly get into... Yep, this is... I do believe ours. So we've arrived at our first... destination, so to speak. And let's have a quick look around. It looks like we've got cows in here already. Slurry area. Or sludge, as I like to call it. <laughs> and what is this? This is the... 800 and oh and we've got stuff in here we've got straw we've got silage we've got grass we've got hay and total mixed rations so we can actually do our own but we don't have a we don't have a wagon do we for um, mixing mixed ra rations you know we don't Manure collection. So, so, so we have eighteen out of a hundred and sixty. So we've obviously got animals on the farm. It's only the cows actually. So they've got straw in there. Productivity is already milk in there as well. Twenty-eight percent. Not quite full health yet, but um, they've got 61,000 litres worth of mixed rations. So, yeah. Guess we get the milk out of here. Jump over here. I'm going to have a look at the cars. So, we've got two types of cars. Looks like we've got Jersey and Frieslands. They do. Uh, are they no, not, not Jersey's? They Swiss Alps are they? We'll go and check quickly. Jersey's. Brown Swiss, <laughs> Swiss Alps, Brown Swiss, and Holsteins. Friesland's. 
car identification is poor. Going to presume we've got a silage clamp over here. Yep, that looks good. And grass. Grass field is looks fairly big. So we'll get the messy up here and get it started. In the grass field. And yep. So let's head on further up this road. Go and see what we have next. So just getting back to where the American map should be are flat or not. This is definitely not flat. What happens if we go up here? This just looks like some sort of picnic area. A quick look. Guessing that is looking over our grass field to the river down there. Beautiful. Really, really nice, nicely detailed map. Fantastic. This is another map that just is a pity that it's coming out when it is. If this came out even a few months ago, I think it would be extremely interesting and another one that would have lent itself to a nice little series well hopefully it'll be converted to FS25 we go in here where do we go to Train line, so it looks like some sort of mall area. So we can obviously summon the train there, load and offload the train. Yes, yeah, so that's coming down the train line, which the little arrow is pointing to there. And this is H and H Milling Group. So, grain mill basically. I'm going to say this is where we put into an open gate. Yeah, nice. It's obviously where we put in the grain to go to the grain mill. That's probably delivery to the, sh to the train station. To load onto the train. And that is rent a train for 100 euros or 100 dollars. Now. And if we go around the front, <coughs> guessing we can get flour out of here. A place where we can buy the small? No. Can't see a place to buy it. This might just be a mill for everybody to use. Do we have access to it? Let's have a look quickly and see. North Farm Supply Production. Where we can make total mix rations. So we're in the north, so we own that. We haven't seen that yet though. The grain mill. 
So this is the toy shop. So the grain mill it looks like we own the grain mill as standard. And it looks like we've got wheat and sorghum in there and are producing flour. Well, 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 that's very nice. Let's just make sure that this is where we are. Tag the place. Back and where are we? No, that's not our. So that's not ours. Oh, that's the one that we own is down there near field 22. Yep, so that was a bit of wishful thinking. But we do own a mill somewhere. <laughs> it's not this one. So this one, I don't know how you activate it. I can't see a place to buy it. I can't see a place to buy it. It could just be a sales station. This could be a refilling station or a buying station. So if we go across the road now. We come to So this one strangely enough doesn't have a name on it. So let's go and have a look and see what this is. This is the refinery. 64,000. So I wonder what that takes. Let me just see if I can get some extra money put into this. We'll be back with you in a second. Right, you're back with me. And I just put in oh, a million dollars. Um, but it just looks like there's going to be little interesting places that would lend themselves to be bought. So yeah, we are straying a little bit from the way I really want. It's not a true first day impression, but uh, let's just buy this and see what it needs. If nothing else, we are adaptable. So we're up near the top. We're just about done for this first, for part one of this now, what is now going to be a three part series. Let's have a look and see, is anything open up? No, that's a collection area. And where did we buy it? Yeah, we, yeah, it is. So let's go and buy that. Let's buy the refinery, yes. Okay, and let's have a look and see. Oil shale, so we need, it's looking for stones, water, oil shale. So oil shale is made, how uh, is oil shale, oil shale is made with stones and water so yeah that's okay and then we want so we can make oil shale so i think that's probably a new product as well i don't recall doing oil shale before i've got diesel and that we can make so oil shale and diesel and diesel recipe requires oil shale and methane. So we will have to get methane and we will get diesel and some more oil shale. Not sure what the, uh, it, might, it might be milled stone. Not sure. Right, so that's pretty interesting. So let's go and get 
where did we leave our tractor now? Is it down the front here? Yep, there it is there. Right, so that's a refinery. So let's go and look. Let's spot something pretty much across the road. So we'll go back out where we came in. And I think that this is the production unit. So let's just quickly have a look. Yeah, so this is our North Farm Supply Production. So this is part of our North Farm, which is the cattle farm. Right, so we can make mixed ration just normally, grass, silage, straw, or we can do it with, um, with mineral feed to get a little bit more. Pig food we can make. We can do all our grass, hay, silage. So we don't actually need to um, silage digestate. Grass silage is just basic. Grass to silage, grass hay, it's basic as well. Hay silage. So grass to hay, grass to silage. Hay to silage, chaff to silage, silage to digestate. Two different recipes. That's 1000 plus 800. What's the difference? Oh, so that is grass plus water and methane give us silage digestate. is cross isn't it um cross yeah it is cross and that is chaff wheat seeds so we can make seeds from that's useful mineral feed uh, lime soya and oats Lime, soya, and oats. Yep. So we could make our own lime. Lime will take. Is that mulled stone? Yeah, mulled stone from the. Was it from the refinery? Yeah, so that's interesting. That's. Digestate liquid fertilizer. Useful little production. And that comes standard with the starting equipment or the starting on the starting map. Really looks like the way to go is to, is to go new farmer on this map. Fantastic. So we can get we can get all the stuff that we have down at the bottom into here and get it producing well that's pretty much taken care of the northern part of the map we're just going to while we're finishing off now we're just going to take a trip up to the top there which i presume is just the the railroad ending and delivery to one of the towns. We'll just get up there and go and have a quick look. There should be a turn off pretty soon. And we'll just go and have a look at that quickly. There it is there. Across the rail line and into the lovely forested area which can all be bought. So you can do quite a bit of forestry on this map. And there's pellets that we will see later on in the next episode most probably. 
So I want to try and co cover the rest of the map in the next episode in terms of going around and have a look in, having a look at the productions etc. So coming back to yeah, so we can summon the train here I presume to load logs and that up there will just be the exit of the map. Have a look at it on here. Yep, and that is the exit to Silver Run. Fantastic. Well, thank you for watching this part one of Mill Farm. We will catch you in the next one. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and ring the bell so that you don't miss part two and part three of this extensive look at Mill Farm, or is it Mill Town, <laughs> Mill's Town, not Mill Farm, Mill's Town, by Muddy Dix, and yeah, just as we're traveling through here and all these new little Nice little features, underpasses, etc. We'll say cheerio.